WD0AKX. I wanted to uh, make a few updates to my 10 meter beacon and it is still on the air on 28.2235 megahertz on 10 meters on the beacon band. So uh, there's a few changes I want to make to that so I thought I'd uh, show you what I did here and uh, I did a couple videos previously about the beacon here if you want to check back and uh, see how the beacon operates and all that. But uh, for now, I'll just uh, give you a little update on it if you've seen those past uh, videos on the beacon. So, uh, and I thought it'd be a good time, too, to show off my new uh, Radio Club t-shirt here. My shirt uh, has my name and call sign on one side and the Albert Lee Amateur Radio Club logo on the other side. And check that out. Nice shirt, huh? Feels real comfortable. The things I wanted to change or add add two I guess <clears throat> was I wanted to add a power Sanander or an Anderson power pole connector there for power for DC power so I uh, put one of those on and I wanted to add a speed control for my CW speed which makes it much easier to adjust you can adjust it on the fly rather than having to go in to the program mode and adjust uh, the speed and also my frequency was off frequency a little way or my crystal was off frequency a little ways so I wanted to try to pull that on frequency which I was able to do I'll show you in a minute and I wanted to add an internal switch here mount a switch on the panel I guess on the back panel for the audio the side tone audio so I can either listen to it to see if it is sending CW for sure or I can just switch that off most of the time you don't want to sit and listen to it all the time uh, when it's in beacon mode. So that's the main things I wanted to change before I had this switch uh, just located externally on a piece of wire. You know, it wasn't very handy to use. <clears throat> so I mounted that, finally mounted that on the panel itself. And another thing, I wanted to change my LED lights <clears throat> uh, before the on was the red and the CW sending was the green and I reversed them so the red is now now flashes with the CW uh, red for transmit and the green is just a power lights up green now when it's uh, powered up and then uh, I also have the switch on the front like I had I, that's been here before but that's if I want to disable the transmit I can turn the transmit off and the uh, beacon still looks like it's operating but uh, I can disable the transmit if I want to unhook the coax cable and switch something around I can just disable transmit without stopping the whole beacon so here's what the front of the beacon looks like I just got a sharpie out and did some writing on the front there didn't have any fancy labeling on hand or anything and uh, I'm not too concerned about this anyhow it's just made to be functional but uh, anyhow there's my speed control that I added potentiometer all these parts are things I had on hand in the shop I wasn't gonna go order anything special for it I had things on hand that would work it's a little overkill it's got a switch on it also I don't need the switch but I can adjust my CW speed now real easy <coughs> I reversed uh, the wiring to these LEDs so they'll function as I want them to now and here's the crystal that was off frequency it was a little bit high should be on 28.2235 and it was a little closer to 28.2245 something like that I think uh, so I needed to pull it down a little in frequency <clears throat> at first I added a capacitor in series load capacitor and it's been a while since I worked on oscillator circuits so I couldn't remember for sure I thought I'd try that that actually raised it in frequency I had a variable capacitor and that only raised it more so I got to thinking uh, an inductor in series is what'll pull it down I believe is what I was thinking so I tried that and I had to experiment to find I went through two or three and I happened to hit on one that actually pulled it right down where I wanted it to 2235 so that seemed to work okay if it would have pulled it too low, I would have tried the inductor and the variable cap both in series maybe, and then I could adjust the cap to maybe bring it back up a little. So, this is the transmitter board, the Little Joe transmitter. There's the output trans uh, transistor. I get about 
half a watt out. Still running about a half a watt, just a touch under, maybe closer to 400 milliwatts. Here's a switch I added for the audio tone. That's overkill also, but it fit in there nice. So I added that, and there's my Anderson power pole connector. Now this is a NorCal keyer over here, which has beacon mode in it, capable of beacon use. So this is all the same as it was in my previous videos. So th those are the additions though to, that I just uh, told you about what I changed. Here's the rear side of the unit. And this housing was not intended for this use, but it was a housing I had on hand to put the beacon in. So that's what I did when I built the beacon originally. Now when I programmed the beacon, if I want to make some changes in that, or to start the beacon, this is a, a function switch here that I press and hold for certain functions and then uh, dit and the da buttons. Uh, switches you can see they're different too, but that's what I had on hand also when I built it so and since I'm not using them to send CW I only use them when I need to make a programming change So I guess they work out okay Here it is with the top on it And I went ahead uh, and just wrote on here too nothing fancy, but if the beacon loses power I Have to start the beacon over and it doesn't happen very often so I kind of forget how to do it. So uh, what I did was just kind of like they do on some military radios and that. I just went ahead and wrote right my instructions right on here on how to get the beacon started again. <coughs> and then uh, the dit and the die button back there. And the side tone switch. I'll show you this in operation shortly. And there's a tune mode. I can have it transmit a steady tone or steady output if I want to check the SWR and power output and things like that. Here's the transmitter circuit. <coughs> I showed this in a previous video also. The little Joe transmitter. Just three transistors in there. Here's the little inductor that I added to pull a crystal on frequency. The crystal was grounded there. I opened the ground there and just ran it through an inductor to ground. And that seemed to pull it right on frequency, right where I want it. I have a frequency counter here that I I use to set the frequency. So basically the NorCal keyer keys up the transmitter. And when it's in beacon mode, it sends the CW or Morse code that I programmed for it to send over and over as a beacon signal. So that's how it works. All right, let's uh, put this into beacon mode hook up the antenna here, a dummy load so I can do a little demo and I hook up my power here, 12 volt and you can see the green light come on for power, that's my power indicator and now turn my audio side tone switch on so I can hear the little speaker inside and there's my dies and my dits and watch me change the speed here lay my mic down so you can see how that works okay Let's put it in a beacon mode. To start the beacon, I need to hold the uh, memory switch in for two seconds until I hear some CW. Turn my speed down. And then I want to advance it until I hear BE sent for beacon. There it was da 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 dit dit BE. Then I want to hit my dit button. And now it is sending my beacon signal. I'll show you the speed again. That's way too fast for what you'd want to send as a beacon. 
I can back the speedway down. That's probably somewhere where I'll be using on the air. Uh, before it was a little more difficult. I had to go in and change my CW speed with the programming buttons and uh, got to be kind of confusing if you don't do it a lot. This makes that real easy. Okay, and then this is what my audio or side tone disable switch does. Turns it off, but it will still remain transmitting because you don't want to hear that tone going all the time in the background. Now my transmit is disabled right now, so I'm not putting out any power yet. I do send out QSL cards if you copy the beacon on 10 meters. They look like this. And the frequency again is 28.2235 megahertz. And I'm in Albert Lee, Minnesota. So if you hear the beacon, uh, either send me a QSL reception report or an email or something, and I do QSL. Here's a sample of a few other cards that I received over time using the beacon here. Here's one from AB5X in Gilmer, Texas. Uh, K5DZE in Kentucky, KH2AR in Tennessee. So uh, it is fun to get cards in the mail reception reports, especially from this low power beacon running less than a half a watt. And the antenna most of the time is a quarter wave uh, uh, vertical, uh, just mounted a few feet above ground level. Now if I had a paddle, I could actually use that instead of these switches of course but I don't have a paddle that's why I put the switches in and since this is only going to be used for beacon all the time that's all I really need but uh, if I had a paddle you know you could send CW like this like that you get the idea so now I'll show you the power output on my meter here okay I'll put it into tune mode this uh, is a handy meter right here uh, that I have on the bench right now. I've got some other meters that would probably work a little better for this since the lowest setting on this meter is a 20 watt scale there, but um, I'll put it in tune mode here. Okay, there it is in tune mode. You can see it's a little under a half a watt on that lower scale. So there it is. I have it all packaged up again, ready to go back on the air. So I'll be getting it back on shortly, and uh, listen up on 10 meters uh, when the band is open. You never know when you might hear this low-power, weak station. If you do, I'll send you a QSL card confirming your reception. So, 7-3, and thanks for watching. WD-0AKX. All right, are we ready to go here? No, we're not. Okay. So there it is. Uh, blah blah. So there it is. My completed version of my mm, something or other. Hello. And uh, listen up on 10 meters if the band is open. Uh, you might just hear this low power signal out there on 28.2235. And if you do, I'll send you a QSL card reception report there. Uh, or confirming your reception report. Yeah, start this.